Hello friends, good morning, welcome to my channel. In this video, I have solved one more problem regarding projection of line. So if you have watched my previous video, I guess you can solve the problem of projection of line. If you feel confident, you can try by yourself. The data is the distance between end projector of line AB is 70 mm. That means the end of the line are 70 mm apart and its elevation length is 90 mm. Elevation length is nothing but length of front view. Length of front view is given 90 mm. Line is inclined at 30 degree to the HP and both the end of the line are in front of VP. Now line is inclined at 30 degree. So that is nothing but theta true inclination with respect to HP and both the ends of the line are in front of VP. That means both the ends are either in first quadrant or either in fourth quadrant. The end A is 40 mm above HP and end B is below HP. That means position of A is in, uh, in first quadrant and position of B is in fourth quadrant. Draw the projection of line if the end A is 5 mm from VP. Find the true length of the line and its inclination with VP. So let's uh, list out the data. Uh, length of front view is given 90 mm. True inclination with HP is given theta. Position of A is given and we have to find the true length and true inclination with respect to VP. So let's start the problem. Uh, first of all, take the reference plane XY. Uh, draw the true vertical line at a distance of 70 mm. So this is nothing but end projector. So our front view and top view of line will lie on these two vertical line. Okay. Uh, let's locate the point A. Point A is 40 mm above HP and 5 mm in front of VP. So let's look at the point A, 40 mm above HP. So this is nothing but our point A days and 5 mm in front of VP. This is nothing but our point A. What else is given is length of front view. Length of front view is given 90 mm. So let's draw the uh, line which is parallel to reference line XY. So this is nothing but length of front view which is equals to 90 mm a days b days 2 is equals to 90 mm now point b is below hp so now i think you can uh, understand that point b is below uh, reference line xy so it so its front view will lie below reference line xy right so a days b days 2 as a radius and a days as a center make an arc over here so this is nothing but point b days length of front view will give you point b days join a days b days so this is nothing but our front view intersection point of these two will give you locus of b days locus of b days right now true inclination with respect to HP is given that is 30. So draw a line from this point A days at an angle of 30 mm. That will cut the locus of B days at B days 1. So this is nothing but our true length. Right. So front view is clear. Our true length is clear. Now basic concept of projection of line is true length in front view will give you length of top view right true length in front view will give you length of top view so let's draw a vertical line over here now project this line over here so that will give you length of top view a b2 now you have length of top view uh, now a is a center and a b2 is a radius Make an arc over here. Make an arc over here. That will give you point B. Join AB. So this is nothing but top view. 
an intersection point of these two will give you locus of B. Now you you already know the length of uh, line that, which is nothing but true length A dash B dash 1 as a radius and A as a center make an arc on locus of B make an arc on locus of B that will give you point B1 right so this is nothing but true length in top view now our objective is to find the true length of the line and its inclination with VP true length in top view making an angle of phi with respect to uh, VP so I hope you can measure this uh, true length and angle phi uh, try to solve it by yourself without watching the video that will be very grateful uh, and comment your answer thank you